Vachanam Maduram Charitam Maduram Vasanam Maduram Balitam Maduram Charitam Maduram Brahmitam Maduram Madurati Bhati Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Oh, 
Hare Krishna. It is my great joy to tonight. No, no, no. It's okay. To present you tonight presence of Rupa Prabhu because he is a very dear friend of mine. He is with all his beautiful family here. Actually, they got married in Vrindakuncha. But he is running most beautiful charity in Vrindavan. 1,500 girls getting first-class protection and education. And these girls are these from the poorest family of Vrindavan. Many of them have no house to live in. But when they come to Sandipani Muni school, they really, everything turns into bliss and substance of life. And that all the way that they can go to school, to high school, university, and 1,500, and plus Rupa does thousands of other things. He looks after cleaning of Vrindam, he looks after, after water for the villages. I've seen his hands everywhere. So we have always been lucky to have his association. And what, what we do, what we do in our Vrinda family here is we are inspired by Rupa and Sandipani Muni school and of course number one by Prabhupada who wanted substantial things to be done for Vrindavan, for India and for the world. So I invite him to be so kind and to say some words of inspiration for what's going on in our life in this Kartik 2017 on the bank of the river Yamuna. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. First of all, I would like to, I already invited Maharaj and I'm sure all of you will come with him, but on 25th, even in at 6.30, we have a, a stage program, our Kartik Festival at the Sandipani Muni School. A uh, couple of hours of our girls doing drama and dance and all different kind of things, and followed by a nice feast. So please, all of you, come over. So this is very wonderful. I would just tell him, Raj, thank you for inviting us today. Otherwise, we would have been home just bored, practically speaking. But here is so beautiful. And the arrangement and all of you. And I was telling him, Raj, this place is amazingly clean. He said, yeah, we come here and we clean it. <laughs> so thank you for doing that. This is, uh, this is real Vrindavan here. And uh, we hope that this Vrindavan, that pretty soon we don't have to take two boats across the Jamuna to go to Vrindavan, but we can have the same on the other side, where there's, uh, where there's a lot that can be done and needs to be done. Hare Krishna. Here's some Harikata. Harikata? You are the Harikata man. No. <laughs> What can we say? Yeah. Okay, one time um, Krishna was having a headache. Now, it was not well. I don't know actually if it was a headache, but it was not well. And um, Purnamazi, after visiting Krishna, she said that in order for Krishna to get well, he has to be bathed with Jamuna water, and the water has to be brought by, you know, a pure girl, 
And in order to do that, to, to make sure that she is pure, the water has to be brought to Krishna in a pitcher with a hundred holes in it. And the water, you know, will not come out of it. So everybody started looking all over bright, who's, you know, who's the purest girl. And of course, Jatila and Kotila, Jatila was pushing her daughter, Kotila, yeah, yeah, you go forward, you go forward, it's you. So Kotila went to say, I can do it. So they gave her a picture with a hundred holes and she went down the Jamuna, very confident. She dipped the picture inside the Jamuna and she put it on her head. By the time it touched the head, she was completely drenched and there was no drop of water left inside the pitcher. So she was very embarrassed by that. In the meantime, Jotila, hiding somewhere, she drilled some hole in another pitcher, she tried and the water was coming out, so she, she ran. She didn't even want to try it. So of course, um, many, many of the devotees, they turned to Radharani and they say, Radharani, can you do it? She said, no, I'm not doing anything. How can I be pure? Everybody, everybody called me the, the, the Kala, 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 Kala what? I don't remember what they call Radharani, Kala Nidhi or, you know, the, the girls that run away in the middle of the night with other, with other men, and I'm not doing it. So cajoling and cajoling and slowly, slowly, they, they actually managed to convince her. So Radharani say, okay. So she went down the Jamuna with the pitcher and she filled it up with water and she put it on her head and not a single drop, of course, came out. And then she took that water to Krishna, they baited Krishna and Krishna was well after that. Jai Jai Shri Radhe One more time, come on. Jai Jai Shri Radhe Hare Krishna. What was the secret? How did Radha Rani do because, that? Because, because, <laughs> I heard because that. Jamuna is Radha Rani, right? So, if Radha Rani say you stay in the picture, then Jamuna cannot come out. <laughs> Kalindi. So that's 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 a, an expansion of Radha Rani. There's another tiny little story that just come to my mind. It's, it's, I heard it that once from, from Purna Chandra, our sannyas that left his body. The gopi, they, you know, as we know, one of the Krishna's favorite pastime is going in the middle of the night and stealing butter and yogurt and ghee. And... So the gopi, they, you know, they tried everything, but still Krishna could manage to go and steal the butter. So one gopi in her, you know, in her go down when she had all the pots hanging on the ceiling, she went and she filled all the pots with little bells, tiny little bells all around all the pots. And then she thought when, when Krishna come and touch the pot, the bell will make the noise and I can go and catch Krishna. So she, would, she went to bed, and, but with one ear very much open. So Krishna came in, it's dark. You know, the, the boy, they put up some plank or whatever, they found some boxes and then Krishna climbed on top of the other coward boys and when he reached the pot, with, you know, with the glow of his body, he sees that there are all this, all this little bell around the pot. So he said, what to do? <laughs> and then he said, well, anyway, I'm Krishna. I, I, I control everything. So he said, dear bells, now I'm going to you know, put my hand into the pot, pick up the grid. You don't make any sound. You sh shut up. Don't move. Don't make any sound. So he goes up, he, he grabs the pot, and sure enough, the bells, you can't hear anything. So he gets a handful of ghee, of butter, and he comes down, and he sits down, and then, you know, he put a finger in his mouth. As soon as he put the finger in his mouth, all the bells, din, 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 din. <laughs> and the golf immediately come and, and catch him. 
And then Krishna look at the bells and he say, oh, I told you not to make any noise. Any noise. And the bells say, yes, Krishna, we, we did. But you are taking prasad and this is our dharma. How can we not, how can we not ring you when you take prasad? And... <laughs> Hare Krishna. Another one. Ah, I don't know, I don't know, another one. <laughs> Everybody knows this story anyway. So Radharani is sitting on the, is, is playing with her girlfriends on the bank of the Jamuna again. It was, um, she was in Jabat at that time, and somehow the Jamuna must have been close to Jabat at a certain point in time. And uh, she's playing with her girlfriend on the bank of the Jamun, and, and they see Durvasa Muni coming. And uh, Durvasa Muni is very famous in Braj for a very hot temper curse in Sadhu. So the other girls with Radharani, they run. You know, they, they were scared of meeting him, but Radharani was busy. She was making, uh, with Jamuna sand and a little bit of water, she was making, she was playing that she was cooking for Krishna. She was making ladders. So when Durvasa Muni passed by and he was going across the Jamun and you see Radharani, he's attracted by the beauty of that little girl. So he goes there and he asks, Lali, what are you doing? And, she, and Radharani looked at him and he said, well, I'm making ladder, try one. And she offered to Durvasa Muni, and he said, that's, that's okay, thank you, please continue. He said, no, no, please, you try, it's a very good, very sweet ladder. So the Vasamuni was so captivated by Radharani's beauty that, and then he thought, well, you know, it's normal for Bridge Bazi to take a little bit of Jamuna dust and eat it. So he took a little pinch of that lad and he put it in his mouth. And to his greatest surprise, it was actually a very wonderful, incredibly tasteful lad. And he just went, wow. Can I have a little more? <laughs> so he had, it's lad, and then he was feeling so. Look at look beautiful the, the lamp on the Jamuna. He was feeling so blissful that he gave Radharani three benedictions. So the first benediction is that, you know, her, her cooking will taste like nectar and she will never cook <clears throat> the same preparation twice. <clears throat> the second benediction was that. Whoever tasted Radharani's cooking will never get sick. Sorry, sorry, the first one were two benedictions, no one. One was that, you know, her, her cooking will always taste like nectar. The second was that she will never cook the same preparation twice. And the third is that whoever eats her cooking will never get sick. And then, you know, he went on his way. Wow. <laughs> that means my story must be pretty boring. <laughs> so the, the, the rumors spread all over Braj that you know, Radharani has been blessed by Durvasa Muni. And sure enough, as soon as Madhi Yasoda heard that you know, Radharani had that benediction, he, he said, hey, you have to come and cook for Krishna. So that is, that's how it, it all started. That, you know, Radharani is in, is in, is in uh, Jabat, but every morning through Terra Kadamba she goes to Nanda Gaon and she cooks for Krishna. And then she comes back to, to, to Jabat after cooking. That's where the cooking story comes from. And sometime while she's going through, while she's going through, through Jabat, and then Terra Kadamba, it's early in the morning, of course, when she goes cooking. And at that time, early in the morning, Krishna is, is preparing to take the calves and the cows out. Sometimes Krishna will be milking the cow. <clears throat> so what Radharani does on the path, she tries to, you know, go as close as possible to, to Krishna. Krishna is milking the cow and she just walks, pretending that she doesn't even know who that boy is. But, you know, she tried to go as close as with her sari, she almost brushes Krishna's body. 
and sometimes Krishna, you know, with the with the corner of his eye, he sees Radharani. So when it's close enough, he get the other of the cow and he's put it in Krishna's face. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the pranks she plays to Krishna. And Radharani always wear a, a pearl necklace. So when she's when she's close to Krishna, because she cannot turn around and look at Krishna. So what she does under her veil, she pulls the string and all the white pearls fall on the ground. And then when she goes down in the ground to pick up the pearls, she you know she throws glances at Krishna. That happens at Terakadamba. Terakadamba. Yeah. Haribo! Haribo! Someone else, please. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to get the microphone? Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Ammonium. Play. Gopi Janabalaba Kirivanada Di Gopi Janabalaba Kirivanada Di Yashoda Nandana Raja Janna Ranjana Yamunatira Ramachari Yamunatira Ramachari Gloria Ti Yorata Madhava Que gozas en los bosques de Vrindavana Gloria a ti, orada Madhava, que gozas en los bosques de Vrindavana. Tú eres el amado de las cupis y el levantador. Tú siempre 
Tonight we will leave a little bit early because today is a very special Leela day. It's a special Leela day which happened in Surya Kund. And on the way from here to Yamuna Kunja, we will go by the Krishna Kali Mandir. Have you seen this mandir, Rupa Prabhu? This is this Krishna Kali mandir happened in Surya Kunda. Radha Rani goes to Surya Kunda on the pretext of worshipping Sun God and Kali. Because this way, by Karma Kanda, your finances in the family will improve. So, therefore, people are very keen to worship Surya Dev and also Kali, specifically, especially in, ben in the Bengal, this custom is very much alive. So, God could Kutila, Ejabdila, they were always suspicious of Radharani. So one day, they said, she's going every day to worship Sun God in Surya Kunda. We think that's very suspicious. She must have some other meeting also. Actually, it's true. They had good vision because Radharani would go to Surya Kunda for meeting Krishna, really. So, in this one case, Jatila was just behind her hiding. 
And when Radharani went into one corner to meet with Krishna, then behind her jumped Jatila, says, Hey, Radhe, I know you were with this. And she looked at Krishna, but Krishna had turned into Kali. He had transformed his body to look just like Kali. That's the Krishna Kali deity which is worshipped here in Vrindavan and which has a very special day today. And they invited all of us to come to take darshan of Krishna Kali Mandir. So, then Jatila, she was so quiet. She said, oh my, my dear, my dear Rane, sorry, I was giving you some trouble. I came to check what you are doing now. I see you are worshipping Kali so nicely. I'm so sorry. And then Kali, then Radhani says, no mention, it's okay. You can go back now. Now everything, all problems solved. So Krishna, he solved the problem in such a wonderful way that Radharani could meet him and at the same time Jatila and Kotila could keep their peace of mind that Kali was nicely worshipped. So this is one little Krishna Leela and now we're going to go on our way back there. It's actually not nice. We want to stay here. So nice place. All this beautiful Vrindavan skyline. Seeing the Imlitala temple. And seeing the Nishingadev temple. And the Keshika, the Pandavali Kunja. Yamuna Kunja. Oh, so nice is this. But I think we have to go today a little early because also Yoga Shakti has to go back to Mallorca today. So, and also, where's Maharati? Maharati is birthday today? He's not here? Cooking, cooking. Oh. You like to eat some Marathi pizza with us? <laughs> okay, so let's go there. But let's stop. <laughs> let's stop by at the Krishna Kali. You have not been there, so today is your first day from Surya Kunda Lila coming to Krishna Kali in Vrindavan. Arrivo! Jai Jai Si Rade! Jai Jai Si Rade! Jai Si